Today we're going to see that mathematics and English are very related to each other. Mathematics is a language all its own and we can relate that language to how we would speak in our normal language. So our task is written right here. We're supposed to explain each statement. These are the two statements that we have and we're given information up here. H of X is defined. It is the percent of households in the United States with internet use. Pause and put a comma there. So anytime we see H of X or a variation of it, H of 23, H of 27, this talks about the percent of households that have access to the internet. This next phrase talks about X. We can see that because it starts here. X is the years after 1980. Okay, so inside here we have a value for our X that 23 means 23 years after 1980. Well, that would make it 2003. So this 23 means 23 years after 1980. Okay, let's put those two things together. H of 23, that's H of X. That is the percent of households in the United States with internet use. 23 is 23 years after 1980 or 2003. If we put those two together, that's the percent of households in the United States that have access to the internet in 2003. The percent of households, I'm going to abbreviate that, in the U.S. with internet in 2003. Wow, it's crazy to me that this little phrase right there gives us so much information. So this H of 23 literally means the percent of households in the United States with internet access in 2003 is, that's how I would translate the equal sign, is 55. Now you might want to rearrange this. If I was writing a essay or a book or something like that, I would probably write 55% of households in the United States have access to the internet in 2003 or had access. There are lots of variations on this. The English language is very complex and we can rearrange things, uh, but this is the meaning. Let's introduce the second one here, H of 27, okay, that's H of X again, talking again about the percent of households in the United States with internet use. The 27 means 27 years after 1980. So this again is talking, or is essentially the same as this phrase right here. Uh, 27 years after 1980, that would be 2007. So the percent of households in the United States, that's what H of 27 or H of X stands for. In, that 27 tells us that it is 2007 is greater than or equal to 61%. We might rearrange this again and say in 2007, 61 or more percent of households had access to the internet or some variation of that. But we can translate these into sentences, into English, and we can translate the English back into these phrases. That's one of the advantages, again, of function notation is that we can take a lot of information and pack it down into a very compact space. Thank you.